Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm going to talk about social media in education, a critical literature review. For introduction, the aim of this review is to synthesize the definition and types of social media and exploring its characteristic as well as critically interrogating related studies as how social media is being used in order to connect learners and support teachers' teaching. The following keywords is used to search the literature, such as social media, e-learning, e-collaboration, and online participation. To include the disciplines of social studies, education, and technology, the following databases are used, that is ERIC, SAGE, Google Scholar, and JSTOR. The findings are limited to articles, books, book chapters, websites that provided information about one or more on social media. The selected topic for literature review could explore the published literature in relation to two main questions. First, what is social media? And second, how can social media implemented in education? The definition of social media is still a little blurry. John, John Olmsted state that there is a lack of agreement on what social media is due to its fast-evolving nature and diversity in delivery form. Kaplan and Handlin also posit that there appears to be misunderstanding among managers and academic researchers alike as, how, as to what exactly should be incorporated under the term social media. From a contributory uh, and information sharing characteristic, various authors such as Garrison, Kisman, Charles Olmsted et al. refer social media as online resources that people use to share content, videos, uh, photos, images, text, ideas, insight, humor, opinion, gossip, as well as news. Safko and Breck also emphasize the connectivity between users describing activities, practices, and behaviors among communities of people who gather online to share information, share knowledge, and opinion using conversational media. Kisman uh, state that social media with the multitude of ways to enhance and increase the information sharing opportunities and options are the future communication. Dykeman also defines social media as mean for any person to publish digital creative content, provide and obtain real-time feedback via online discussions, commentary and evaluations, and incorporate changes or corrections to the original content. Chan Olmsted claimed that social media allows people to engage actively in a communication process, not only as information receivers, but also as message creators. This is uh, types of social media, according to Kaplan and Henlin, and as well as Mayfield, uh, as various authors have attempted to describe different types of social media. So in what follows, I will describe and compare the types of social media according to Kaplan and Hanlon as well as Mayfield, synthesizing this categorization and identifying unique elements. Firstly, a uh, collaborative project. Uh, it means that the main underlying idea is that the joint effort of many participants leads to a better outcome than any single participant could achieve individually. Uh, Kaplan and Hanlon give an example of Wikipedia and Delicious as one of types of social media that is a collaborative project. Blogs it referred to as a journaling, journaling tool. Although blogs are primarily used by one person, nevertheless provide the possibility of interaction with others through the addition of comment first. Uh, and, and then the content communities. It's uh, the distribution of diverse media content that content community organize and share particular kinds of content. Uh, the example of content communities, social media, uh, such as share the sharing of photos is Flickr, videos, uh, example YouTube, bookmark links, uh, for example delicious, and PowerPoint presentation, uh, slide share. 
Another type of social media is social networking sites. For example, uh, Facebook, My MySpace, and these are described as allowing users to connect by building personal information profiles, inviting friends and colleagues to have access to those profiles, connecting with friends to share content and communication, and sending emails and instant messages between each other. Another type is the virtual game worlds, where these virtual world platforms replicate a 3D or 3-dimensional environment in which users can appear in the form of personalized avatars and interact with each other as they would in real life. For example, World of Warcraft and Sony's EverQuest. Another type is virtual social world that allows inhabitants to choose their behavior more freely and essentially live a virtual life similar to their real life. They provide Second Life application as the most prominent example of virtual social world. Then, podcast is another type of social media in which audio and video files are accessible by subscription through services like Apple iTunes. Another one is forums a popular element of online communities which are used for online discussion on specific topics and interests, microblogging in which described as combination of social networking with bite-sized blogging where small amounts of content updates are distributed online and through the mobile phone networks such as Twitter. Then we come to the social media characteristics. There are five specific characteristics of social media. Firstly is participation, conversation, connectes, connectes, connectedness, community, and openness. Participation uh, encourage contribution and feedback from everyone who is interested, while co conversation is something that uh, compare, uh, something that uh, perceive social media that is better in a way uh, two-way conversation rather than about broadcast it means that uh, social media is better seen as a two-way conversation rather than uh, something that can be transmitted or distributed to an audience okay so the next one is connectedness connected connectedness is a different form of social media that permit users to operate a platform of interconnectedness which is realized primarily via the provision of links to a wide area of various sites, person and resource. So it enable uh, formation of close relationship between people. Right? So the next one is community. Community uh, to, is to communicate um, that social media allows to communicate uh, uh, between communities where people uh, can communicate or associated with the people of, or whom they want to be associated with. Okay? So the bond that glues uh, communities together is the presence of commonality between the members. Okay? Then openness. Another characteristic of social media is openness uh, to user feedback and participation. So Mayfield uh, sees this evidence not only in the sharing of information but in users' personal engagement. Uh, Mayfield cite the specific example uh, of voting and commenting. So this is the five specific characteristic of social media according to Mayfield 2008. Okay, this is um, what social media uh, can be, how can social media can be implemented in education. Okay, social media can serve, can conserve friendship, exchange information. It also can engage students, contribute to and connect with resources, motivate students' participation, and also it can support innovative learning approaches. So this is um, the sum of the list that what social media can do can help education, can help teachers in teaching, okay, can affiliate in teaching, facilitating mentorship, 
improve student participation, improve communication, improves interaction, and it also provides emotional, social, and academic support. It also enables students to reflect uh, their teaching or their to reflect their learning and uh, teachers to reflect their teachings. It present it can present multimedia material. It can overcome low satisfaction and low self esteem of students. Okay, there are also student teacher relationship that can be uh, make it better, uh, and also the bettering of student faculty relationship. So all of this list is uh, the example uh, of what social media can uh, assist in education. So the next one is the element of heterogeneity or self-directed learning that appeared in social media where the learner is at the center of their own learning or in other words learner centric okay so heterogeneity is about the self-directed learner and the self-determined learner where the learner builds some resources and then takes the lead and this approach is aligned best in a digital native context so as a conclusion uh, based on the review of the literature, social media has the positive potential for teaching and learning because of its unique built-in function that offer pedagogical, social, and technological affordances. Social media can be concluded as being an online platform for interaction, for collaboration, creating or sharing of countless kinds of digital contents in various contexts and environments that confirm it as Web 2.0, which has evolved from an earlier Web 1.0 era. It also can be concluded that social media comprises of diverse applications with different main functions, configuration, and characteristics. So in a very important sense, social media is of potential benefit to teaching and learning because of its underlying characteristics such as participation, openness, conversation, community, and connectedness. So this is my final uh, slide. So thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.